Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. It's 2024 people, um, we're going to start the year with an unbagging video. But firstly I'd like to say thank you everyone for joining me here today. I hope you're having a wonderful day, doing whatever you're up to. I hope everyone had a really great Christmas and New Year and um, we got to see lots of family and friends and have a good time. So yeah, and everyone's well. Make sure that's the most important thing of all. And um, enjoy the videos. All right, guys, let's get stuck into today's video. So this one is an unbagging video. Um, today I've got a new company. Uh, I don't think, I don't believe I've had anything from this company before. I've had a couple of emails, but I haven't actually um, received any goods from them. So this one is called uh, Seven Great. So this place, this website, e store, is actually um, related to cross stitch so i do like doing a couple of cross stitches i've got a couple on the go at the moment so i wasn't too sure if i wanted to dive into any more just yet but i thought you know what let's have a look at what products they've got first and um, so i did that and had a look on the website it's quite a nice little website and i'll add all the links to it of course these products are going to have their own links the information in the description box for you guys but um yeah so i thought you know i'll have a couple of I'll get a couple of products from them and have a go and see what they look like. At least unbox them and we'll go from there. That's what I was thinking. So, without further ado, I will show you what's in the bag from Seven Great. So, these this company, uh, what I can tell, specialises in cross stitch. So this is going to be a cross stitch unboxing or bagging, we should say. Now, I do like. Cross stitch, they just take a, a lot longer to do. That's the only thing I probably don't like about them. The diamond painting is so much quicker. All right, so what have we got today? So I chose a couple of images, and then of course, apparently, because they were sale items, and they couldn't guarantee they'd be in stock by the time I showed you the video. They asked me to pick again. So I said, you know, well, let's have a look at whatever you got, basically. <laughs> so we'll see what they sent me. So these ones should definitely, hopefully, fingers crossed, be in stock if you're interested. Okay, so I've got this one. Ooh, it's a bit of a mystery bag, isn't it? It's got lots of strings and what's not going on. Nice clear pattern. And another one here. So these should be both stamp cross stitches and 11 count, I believe. That's all I basically said to them. Oh, wow, that's cute. All right, so this one I've got um, is looks like a Jack and Sally. It's in neutral tone. We'll have a bit of a look at that closely. This is what the image is. That's going to be quite cute. So we've got some a nice clear image of these guys. It's a DIY cross stitch. That's what's the branding on it. And it should be a printed cross stitch. Let's have a look and see. Stamped, I should say. I always call it printed for some reason. Stamped cross stitch this one. Get the terminology right. Now I've got a couple of um, needles sitting there in the corner. Let me go to unfold. Oh yes, there we go. Look at that. Maybe a little bit back do I need to go. Just so you can get the full scenario. Oh, look at those threads. Well, they feel nice. They do have a nice feel to the thread. The strands, whatever we call these things. And they're all on a nice little card and numbered. And it looks like we have 10 different colours and shades. Nice and long. So they're quite nice. Nice and simple. They feel good. I like that. And of course we have our, a pattern to follow with our thumbnail there of our image, our basic stitch. So it's nice and simple. No other uh, crazy stuff going on here. We're just going to go with a straight, easy design. 
So that is something, I suppose, of a guide to follow. It's not huge, you can see. I haven't got the biggest hands in the world either. Um, but yeah, it is something to follow if you like to do it that way. And of course, we have our canvas, which is a 30 by 40. So this is a 30 by 40 canvas. The image is, of course, a lot smaller than that because we've got at least probably three centimeters or more, good inch and a bit, top, bottom and sides to the canvas. As you can see, the information up top, that's 30 by 40. Again, on the canvas itself, let's just see it on the... People on canvas, but you know what I mean. Um, have the image and, of course, all your stitch information here. And that's printed quite clearly um, with all your DMC codings and so forth. So you can follow that. Nice, big, easy um, symbols on the side here to identify. And I like that it's got the little colour chart as well. So it's got a little colour chart as well. So that's nice. Very handy um, if you're sort of new and you just want to follow some of the colours. Sometimes that's a good guide. All these numbers mean nothing to you at the start usually. It doesn't mean much to me these days either. But, you know, it, you've got something to guide you with as in a visual. If you're a visual sort of learner, I suppose, or something like that, it's really handy. There you go. So I'll have a bit closer look at your symbols and so forth on your mat. Just so you can have a bit closer look what you're dealing with. So we're going to go right down here to the bottom. And it's got nice printing, like it's nice and bright enough. Um, some of these might get a little, make you go a bit cross eye where you've got red crosses and red uh, squares next to each other. I'm just going to adjust. Just adjusting things. So you do have that. Um, if you have a bit of a look, you've got like your red squares and red lines and red X's might be a little bit interesting. Some areas where you can sort of just zone out and block a bit. So just moving up to the top. You see we've got some nice big areas here. So I think it's well printed, etc. Um, you know, good colour in the ink. You've got all your information nicely printed across. All your numbers are nice and clear. Uh, yeah, you don't have much of like of an edging or whatever, but it's sealed. But what do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's um, a bit smaller in in size than the 30 by 40. But being a cross stitch, you don't lose the detail quite as much, say, as, as you would in a diamond painting. If this was that, if this was a diamond painting, I'd be a bit concerned um, for the detail in their faces, etc. Especially, so here is Sally's face here, for example, and and this is Jack. Where hopefully in a cross stitch, I'm hoping the the details will hold a bit better. But yeah, that is that one. So they come with two needles, pretty basic little kit. But the the, um, the items are nice in it. Some basic neutral sort of colours for this one. So you might want to be doing another very bright coloured project while while working on this because it might get a bit hard to deal with all the neutral tones. But it's not a big project, so you know it could work as well. All right, let's have a look at the other one. So that's quite nice. This is just a DIY cross stitch. And I'm sure there's lots of more information for those who are more um, familiar with cross stitches and patterns and so forth. We'll see a lot of detail there I'll probably miss, so I do apologise for that. I'm only sort of a very, very novelist mucking around just getting into the um, that kind of thing. I'm not, not exactly diverse in, in the world of cross stitch for all the technical terms. But it's a fun, I, I, I like it as this fun, um, fun hobby to do. So this one is a 11 count cross stitch. 
Um, they also have 14s and even 18 count cross stitches stamped and um, of course and of course the other. They also have of course um, counter cross stitch so depending on what you like to do if you um, say like me I, I'd rather have a an image on some and some symbols to guide me along I much prefer to have stamped but if you like the counter cross stitch they do offer those about well seven grades so that's also something there and lots and lots of images you'd have to go sifting through them for a while but I'll add as I said the shop link for you so you can just browse or and I'll have this one and the one I just showed you its links in the description box for you guys so make sure you have a look let's have a look while we're here this one now, I don't know if this has actually got a brand or anything of that kind of information for you. So I know they do have some Joy Sundays and things like that on the website. So if you are one that prefers those cross stitches, I know you can get those as well. Oh, this one has a little kit thing with it. That's kind of cool. These things are very, very handy. I don't know why they are so handy, but they are. They are just so easy um to work with i've had it the other different types of little whatever you call them weavers or things you know um to help you thread but this one i, I like the design it's nice and simple again i've got oh about five needles in there they look quite heavy gauge too so you might like to have a fine needle and your little pom-pom and of course your little thimble so you do come with um, a few bits and pieces in this kit which is handy. What else do we have in the bag? I've got my threads out already. Um, this is a basic instruction for cross stitch, which is nicely done. It's got some nice, um, not huge, but nicely printed, and very clear printed images to demonstrate and, and show you how to go about it. Right through to the cleaning process, which is also important. Um, when I first got a cross stitch, it only showed me how to do your stitches and so forth. I had no idea about this part where you had to wash them and iron them and all that kind of stuff. And um, luckily for me, I have a good friend that does a lot of cross stitching on, and she runs her own channel and so forth. That's Crystal Crafts with D. So she's helped me a lot with um, my cross stitch journeys and things like that. So uh, check her out. She'll show you how to do anything that I don't explain to you very well. Uh, in much more detail she has uh, some tutorials on how to wash and prepare your finished cross stitches and so forth so have a look there if you want some more advice because she's helped me a lot so cheers shout out to crystal crafts for d for helping me along with those sort of problems with my projects all right so this is instructions and that looks quite cool that's quite cool Let's have a look below at um, what else is in here. Oh, okay. So that is my mat. And, of course, the actual... Um, this is my sheet that I want. Let's put you out of the road, shall I? All right. So let's have a look at this one first. And you're going to thinking, what on earth has she got because i'm trying to think too oh that's right so this one here is of a of an image of a basically it's a cow out in the fields one of those um fairy ones i'll see if, I, see if i can show you a better image than this one but that is the thumbnail i thought he's adorable honestly you can kind of see in there so there you go that is your um all your symbols and so forth. This one is a 50 by 40, so a little bit bigger, but not too intimidating size. Has got just that simple image I felt would come up quite well. I don't know, but I thought that's more, you know, close up face. Um, and it's got lots of flowers and backgrounds and so forth, but I think it'd be quite, it's got a bit of color, so you've got a bit of variety, a lot of green background. Um, the cow's fur and so forth and that's lots of browns and so and things like that but um you know i think it'll be quite interesting and not a bad size for the image and that's something i you, you have to take into account when you're picking uh the size of your be it cross stitch or diamond painting or whatever it is and the image you want to try and build here 
So that's important. And I think hopefully this one will come up nicely. That's your charting though. Let's have a look at your mat that you're working with. So of course that's going to be nice and neat on the back. Flip her over. There we go. Look at that. That's quite well done, isn't it? It looks good. Let's move you over a little bit. So, yeah, you can see it's got all the information down the bottom here, across the top. Your numbers are printed nice and clearly all around. So are the symbols. Um, it's got nice vibrancy and colour to your, your, your mat that you're working on. So that shouldn't be too hard to read, I suppose you could say. Uh, nothing is sort of clashing in my eyes just real quickly. Like some of these red areas might get a little bit interesting, but they're not too bad. Lines and crosses and dots. It should be okay. Now I've got a charting down the side here on my table. And on this one I've got 40 colours. I didn't even say how much colours was in the other. Yes, I did. 10. Silly girl. Anyway, um, so this one's got a lot more. This has got 40. We've got a lot more colours going on here, so I think we'll get a light, a, a nice, um, a nice palette when we have a look at it. And of course, the uh, the actual cross stitch should come out nicer too, with lots of lots of, lots of colour. Let's have a bit closer look, shall we? At what we've looked at our table, and we've got DMCs, of course, our symbols, and then our numbers up this up this end. So we're just going from the bottom and working our way through. Lots of different um, symbols, but the ones that have multiplied, like the squares, have got some really different colours, so they're nice and easy. Uh, I think most of those are nice. There might be a little bit of issue here with these guys. You want to make sure which way your red arrow is going, I suppose. Don't get mixed up which red, which red arrow you're doing at the time. But most part, I think it's pretty um, pretty safe bet. At a quick glance and of course there is your little thumbnail for this guy matte feels pretty average um, that's your edging at the moment right so it has got at least on the top there a little bit of stitch around the side there too so it shouldn't fray You've got stitching around um this one so that should be nice and tidy very nice i'm going to lose the um pat the sheet in a moment it's going to go off the edge of the table there we are so that's quite cool let's have a look at um the threads you can sort of see there the symbol looks pretty good nice and clearly printed we will open up the threads and have a look at those too because I think there's quite a bit in here. So yes, yeah, 40 by well, 50 by 40, 11 count. So all that one there. But no um, large image or anything came with this one. So that would have been nice to have had. I could show you guys properly. Oh, look, it's got one of those little braided ones. So I've got um, a whole lot of this 902, which I'm going to assume is in the actual cow. There we go. And of course, we've got all of these guys need unwinding. Oh, they feel good. They feel quite nice, actually. I might just go up a little bit so we can see those colours. It's better. Look at those. Oh, they do look nice. So we got a nice rainbow of, of colours, really, all round. We've got two cards, I think. So we're going to take that, oops, take that one off there. So we've got a few just on a separate card here. 
that's just the last of them 37 to 40 beautiful vibrancy to them beautiful greens they feel nice too so let's pop that extra ones over to the side i'll we'll have a look at these ones here here we go so this is from number one across i'll just give you a bit of a look at some of the colors that are involved in it you've got beautiful reds blues burgundies and so forth into greens oh, there's so so many different things look at those beautiful vibrant blues and violets then you sort of have your your wheat colors and you know that kind of stuff and i'm not sure what brand this is it doesn't really say too much i mean that's all i've really got um, but they do feel quite good like the threads are long um, they feel nice enough probably the other one the diy crosses was a little bit softer but these are these are still very nice some nice um, earthy tones there Yeah, so there we go. So just your numbers across here, all your DMC coatings on your actual canvas that you'll be working with or mat. So that's those ones there. They're quite long, which is good. There we have it. So that's pretty much those two shown. None box for you guys. I'm going to try and just tidy these up, loop them up. At least they don't crinkle so much. They're nice and tidy like that. So I've got this one here. This is the cow. Um, somewhere along the line there, hopefully I'll be able to find, uh, find an image and just pop that in there for you so you can see what it's like. This one actually had this little tool kit, which is kind of cute. I like that. Um, I think everyone likes their own needles and things, but it's nice to have um, a few to choose from when you're starting out. And these instructions, which have been printed quite well, all came with that particular kit. So that one's, um, it's got a lot going with it. It just doesn't have that big image, which I would like to have seen with it. That's about all I can say about that one. Again, 11 count on that particular one. And the other cross stitch I had today from Seven Great is this DIY cross stitch. And it's the second Sally image. It's a little bit smaller as a 30 by 40 and of course um, it's also stamped and has that little bit of edging of course and space so there we have it so that's pretty much it guys um i just wanted to show you a couple of cross stitches i received um free for review from seven great so um appreciate that being sent out to me and they do look nice so hopefully in the future when i finish my other projects i'll be able to start one of these guys um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think these are looking like good cross stitches? Um, and so forth. So I think they look okay. Uh, they are well in budget of the most people. I would and, and good prices on there, what I've seen. So hopefully you guys can maybe pick up a bargain as well. So check them out. This is seven great. Uh, links are for the shop, eShop, and these products will be in the description box. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Until next time, guys, stay well, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.